The ghost of you lingers outside my door, fingering the long metallic handle, pressing it counterclockwise slightly, gaze firm and hair shaved in the same pattern as when we met four months ago on the lawn. Blades of grass sketched in moonlight, picking lemons off the side garden under sleeping sunflowers. This week, it followed me faithfully like an old mutt. The ghost of you, in that moment you are still alive. Many moons have changed you, no doubt. But the ghost of you remains. A specter, always a faithful remnant of those claustrophobic periods. Pain of being left, of being imagined wrong, of being discarded, emptied of substance, hollowed out, bleeding through some invisible faucet. I can't seem to find the spigot behind the kitchen sink as I floss my molars, boarding the bus, browsing books in my cubicle, sprinkling salt in my soup. And me, whispering, make me rise on the wings of eagles, and wondering if when I rise, whether you too would rise. But if not, when I fall, your hands, would they wave to greet me again?